What's up everybody? I'm gonna do another video again to accompany uh, my blog articles. It's been, a, I've been kind of falling off the wag. It's been a while since I've done it. But uh, today I wanted to talk to you about have you ever bought a tool or a piece of equipment that you ended up not using or not using as much as you thought you would? Um, I think we're all guilty. I mean, I know I've done it. I think we're all guilty of it. A little, and it's kind of a human nature thing, but it's easy to look at something and think it's the best thing since sliced bread. And I, I mean, here's here's kind of what I'm getting at. So let's say you buy a tilt rotator. That's the latest rage, right? Well, the first hour you run that thing, it feels like you have like all left hands and thumbs and, and you feel like this is crazy. Like I'm just going to uh, straighten it out and, and just keep my thumbs off the rollers and just run it normally for a while because it's faster and feels more natural. But you keep doing it, you keep pushing, you keep, you know, forcing yourself to awkwardly twist that thing. And pretty soon it starts feeling natural and it, it does get faster and you are genuinely fast and can be way more effective with the thing than you were in the beginning. And I use that analogy because software is the same way. If you buy a skid loader and end up using your shovel and never turn the key in the skid loader, that skid loader is a worthless hunk of iron to you. Um, and software can be similar to where like, you know, I've seen people that, you know, hear about the good things that synced up can do for your business. And they're like, yeah, yeah, I mean, so-and-so told me about it. I'm going to sign up because I'm going to need it and whip out your credit card and sign up. And then they don't use it or at least not like we wish they would. And, um, that's, you know, we try really hard on the onboarding side to make sure that that doesn't happen. But at the end of the day, sometimes we look at each other and it's like, well, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. So, um, what I have seen after, you know, working with hundreds of people is that whipping out your credit card and signing up is the easy part. The hard part is changing your habits, pushing through that transitional pain because until you actually get the full benefit, because you sign up and you, you build your budget and you start estimating and guess what? It's different than you probably have done it before and it feels awkward just like you know when you start running a tilt rotator or a new machine for the first time and you're, you're going to be tempted to fall back into your old ways. You're going to be tempted, ah, it's just faster, uh, I, I can't figure it out, I just do this. Where, and if you stay, if you keep telling yourself that too many times in a row, well, eventually you begin to lose hope or begin to lose the momentum or the vision that this can actually help you. And you do fall back into your old ways and you don't push through that brick wall of changing habits, that transitional pain. Anytime you change anything, there's transitional pain and uh, software is no different. And so anyway, I mean, we're here to, you know, we, we work really hard to overcome that for you and do as much as we can for you, but it doesn't change the fact that at the end of the day, you're the one that's going to need to push through that brick wall, change your habits, change your ways. And when you do, and I, I, there's hundreds of people behind us, behind our team that can attest to this. When you do discipline yourself, be like, yeah, it might be feel harder right now, but my third estimate, my fifth estimate, my 10th, my 10th estimate, it, it feels a lot easier. Um, y you come out the other side of that in Sometimes I talk to people two months later and they're like, oh, dude, I can't believe I used to do it the old way or I can't believe, yeah, I can't believe I was pushing back and or refusing to do it, you know, refusing to use it or whatever. And now I can, for example, like now I can build a $200,000 estimate that it would have taken me two or three days in 10 to 15 minutes. And, but you didn't get there just by within seconds after sign, whipping out your credit card and signing up. It took setup and discipline to get to the point where you got that reward, that outcome, you know, and, um, and other stories. I have a friend I was talking to last, I think it was two weeks ago. Maybe I, uh, had a phone call with a friend that was struggling. They had signed up. They loved the estimating, but they were like, do I really have to like go through this? What felt like unnecessary steps to clock in and out on every job. And I'm like, well, I mean, really you, you get to pick, you get to decide what you want for your business because I go back to do you want a job cost? Yeah, 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 I want a job cost. Okay, well, for your job cost, you have to be able to track your actual hours and your actual materials to compare against your estimate. Are you going to do that? Well, eh, I mean, can I do it easier? Can I just keep it in my head and type it in? Well, you could, but now you're now you're back to having things in your head and you're, you're the, that means you're the bottleneck in the business you, and it, you can't delegate that 
you can't scale or grow your team out of that. You're still you're, you're basically in the E myth. If you've ever read the E myth book, you're the technician and and you're not the entrepreneur or not the uh, I forget what the other one is now off the top of my head. But um, and this person, my friend that I was on the phone with, was genuinely considering like just bailing and going back to um, I don't know tracking time and spreadsheets and um, estimating off of you know his spreadsheets or whatever he was using and he was asking before he did that what it, like what I thought and I was like well why did you come to use a software like synced up in the first place well I wanted to do job costs I wanted to know if I was making money I wanted to you know make sure that my estimates were accurate well okay so do you want that yeah I do okay well the only way is to go through you know tracking your jobs in your man hours and your materials etc so that you have that so that your job costing data can inform your future budgeting information so that your next estimate for next year can be even more accurate you know it's it's all an intertwined web and why did you you know why were you looking for that in the first place well i wanted it to be easier so that it doesn't have to be me so i can pass it off to my guys okay well i mean so you're experiencing transitional pain right now and if you go back you're going to come right back head to head face to face with those exact same issues that were motivating you to come find a better way you know really both ways are hard finding a using a software in this example to make your life easier in job costing has a hard path of, of transitional pain using not doing that avoiding that transitional pain has the hard path of it's always stuck in your head it's you, you can't scale i mean it's it's always you you're the only person that can solve a problem or throw an, an invoice out to a customer, an estimate out to a customer. So which pain do you want? It's like, there is no easy. It, it's just get better at doing hard. Uh, I love that YouTube video. If you've never seen it, um, there's a video on the, uh, from a basketball coach that's talking about that. You know, there is no easy. You just get better at doing hard. And it's kind of like, well, which hard do you want? You know, you can stay in where you just keep everything in your head on paper and notes on your phone and spreadsheets. But there's a ver there's an element to where that's hard. You never get freedom from your business. You own a job. You can go through the transitional pain of defining systems and processes and and, and pushing through sync, this transitional pain with synced up. That'll be hard, but the outcome is, the reward is so worth it. I mean, not my words, words of hundreds of people behind me. And um, anyway, so I, 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 I tried to answer his question by asking him questions. What do you really want? And ultimately, he decided, like, yeah, <laughs> you know, um, I do want to break through my complexity ceiling. Like, I ran into my complexity ceiling. I do want to break through that. And I, I know I don't want those issues I was facing before I got synced up. I do want the outcome that synced up gives me. So I will push through this discipline and transitional pain and figure out how to make it easy to track time and et cetera. So anyway, I, I'm, get, I'm rambling along too long. But the whole point I want to make is, if you know, if this is you, just if you're a business owner, if you're an entrepreneur, just accept that you will run into your complexity ceilings along the way and you crush that one and you run and find your next one. Uh, you will, you know, there is no easy. You just get better at doing hard. And even if you think, well, I'm just going to stay this way because it's easier. Well, those are elements to that where you will run into things that are hard that way, just the same as you will by pushing through the hard of learning how to run a tilt rotator until it's muscle memory. You don't have to think it. It's not hard anymore. That was hard. The outcome on the other side was awesome. Now you're way more effective and way more efficient. Software is the same way. Business is the same way. Being the Mr. Nice Guys to your employees so they like you is the same way because they'll lose respect for you. You know, it comes back to which hard do you want? <laughs> I'm speaking to myself too. I mean, everybody that's in business has, has this battle, you know, um, and it, it isn't easy. But I think when we can share stories with each other, share experiences with each other. We can draw some comfort or some confidence in the fact like, ah, oh, yeah, this is the path that I want. I am going to push through this brick wall and this transitional pain, and I am going to exercise this, the discipline I need to do this. And so anyway, I hope this was encouraging and um, hit me up in the DMs or comments or wherever you're watching this video. And I'd love to hear your experience, your story. And uh hold that up against what I was trying to share here in a little bit of a nugget to inspire you to keep pushing on. Cheers. Have a great weekend.